Okay. So just start with the head and neck. We're just going to bring the head from side to side like this. So let your shoulders just relax down. We don't want to let them creep up. If anybody wants to play music, go for it. Probably some nice chilled music. Good, okay, and then we're just gonna go for some semicircles here. So you're going from shoulder to shoulder and just bringing your head back a tiny bit so you feel a bit of a stretch in the front of the neck as well. This is nice because your head will feel so much lighter after doing some of these. And it should just set you up nicely for the week. And then you've got the exercises, so you can do it whenever you start feeling stiff. Good. Okay, and then just bringing your head back to centre, chin tucked in, and we're just looking over the one shoulder. And then the other. So don't force the movement, just go as far as you can. Keeping those shoulders pulled down, squeezing the shoulder blades together. So imagine you've got like an orange or something in between your shoulder blades here and you're trying to squeeze it as you're doing all of this. So it'll just help to keep the chest open. Good, okay, and then facing forward, just bringing the head down and then up and back. But only to a point where it feels comfortable still. Just getting lots of movement in lots of different directions through the head and neck. Good, okay, and then just center there. So moving on to the shoulders, just circling the shoulders back. Hello, I think we've got somebody else just joined. So you've not missed much, just join in. Just doing a little bit of upper body, upper body mobility. So pulling those shoulder blades together circling around. So we're just going to be working on backwards today because we're focusing on opening out the chest. Okay, and then just putting the hands onto the shoulders. Just work with whatever range you can. So if just the shoulder rolls feel better, just stick with those. Okay. But we're drawing big circles with the elbows. It's a really nice big range, get them moving. Don't worry if you're noticing a few pops or cracks or anything. That's normal, as long as it's not painful for you. Okay, and then just relaxing. <coughs> the arms up and circling back. So you can do one arm, then the other if you want. You can stick to hands on shoulders. You can stick to just shoulder rolls. Try turning the palms up as you circle back as well, because that'll help to open your chest. Okay, so if we're like this, you're more likely to be rounded. We don't want to be rounded. We spend enough time being rounded. Keeping everything nice and open. Good. Then the more you're keeping your palms up, you should start to feel it here, just kind of waking up a bit as well. Okay, one more. And then arms relax down. We're just going to bend to one side. And then the other. Been thinking I need to order some motivational t-shirts for these. So next week you might see me with a good little motivational saying on my top if I get around to it. Okay, and then we're reaching it with the arm. <coughs> and then the other, bless you, whoever that was. Oh thanks. <laughs> so you don't have to do the arms if you don't want to, side bends are fine, but this will just give you a bit more of a stretch and we're just getting a bit of lateral movement into the spine. It's probably quite stiff after sitting for a long time. I'll go and show you Bob and getting out and doing your exercise. It's just one more each side. Okay, so this next one you can do seated or standing, but we're just going to do a sort of half roll down. So you're tucking your chin in, and then we're moving just one vertebra at a time, just rolling yourselves down. Okay, so you can just give for half, so you can go sort of hands up to the knees, and then restack and roll up, or you can go lower 
if you want to. Okay, so you're moving from the head, tuck the chin in, and just rolling down slowly, bending the knees if you need to as well. Taking a deep breath in once you get down and then breathing out to slowly roll yourself back up. So this is a really good way to just mobilize the spine and loosen it out a little bit more. So again, tucking in. Move from the head one vertebra at a time down. Wonder what that was. It sounds like, guess the sound. It sounds like a toothbrush. And then we'll roll it up. Good, just roll the shoulders back. Okay, so make sure you go slowly with those. So we're going to move on and just get our lower body moving a little bit. So just lifting the knees. So we're not going to do too much with the lower body. Emphasis is going to be on the upper body, but just it's good to get everything moving anyway. And your hips might be tight as well from sitting a lot. Good. And then just tapping the toes forward. I know you can't see my toes, but basically I'm just going like that, tapping the heel to the floor. I need a bigger room. Good. So just keep going with that. Just move this down a little bit. There we go. You can see now. Good. And then just tap into the sides. So just getting the feet and ankles moving in different directions. Hopefully you're starting to feel a little bit looser. Told you it wasn't going to be too intense. Okay, and then just lifting one leg up with the knee, hold on to something if you need to for balance. Just circle one foot around one way. Just keeping a slight bend in that standing knee. And then the other way. Good, and then switch of the leg. Sorry, that's just me, my joints crack sometimes. And the other way. Good, and then shaking out the legs. We're going to balance again, just open out the hips and wake up your glutes a little bit. So hands on the hips or on the wall if you need to for balance. Lift one knee, leg out to the side, forward and down. Okay, so you want to keep a little bend in that standing knee to get the stabilisation working up here. If it's too much with the full lift, just lift your heel and open out here and then lower. Okay, if you're struggling for balance, it'll get easier the more you do it. That's it, lift and out, good. And you want to try and keep your hip bones forward. So we're not turning your whole body. We're just moving from the hip. Losing that balance. Good, so hopefully you feel these muscles just starting to wake up a little bit. Good, so now, one more. We're going to just do a little bit more, slightly more intense stuff, just to get your heart up a little bit and get you warm, ready for some beans. Beans exercises, and then you can go eat them for your lunch if you want to. So we're going to do some hamstring curls, so legs out wide, a bit wider than shoulder width, and you just bring in your heel towards your bottom. So if you want to pull, then do, because that'll open out the chest, so you're squeezing the shoulder blades together. And you don't have to bring your heel all the way to your bum, just wherever you can get it, it's fine. Opening out. So it's good just to get up and get moving as much as you can, even if you're just getting up and doing a few of these. Sometimes I do that just to get my blood pumping. And there's nobody in the office to laugh at me and think I'm weird and what am I doing? Anyway. Okay, so stop there, just give your bodies a shake. So now we're going to stand like this. So you've got your front foot flat on the floor, your back leg straight, and we're just lifting that back knee. Okay, and this is just to wake up your glutes. 
on that standing leg a little bit more. So just make sure you're driving through the heel. Heart rate should be starting to increase a little bit more as well. How's everybody feeling all good? Hopefully. I know my heart rate's definitely increasing, but it doesn't take much at the moment. Good, one more. And then give that standing leg a shake and you're switching to the other side. So you're pushing through the heel, front leg bent, lifting the back knee. So you're just driving that back leg up as high as you can. Good, just a couple more. Okay, and then just giving yourself a shake out. So hopefully your bum feels a bit more awake now. Mine does, and the heart's going. Um, so one last pulse raiser exercise that's gonna wake up your glutes a bit and get the shoulders a bit warmer. So we're bringing one leg out to the side. As you do, we're gonna bring the arms up as well. So as the arms come up, you want to try and open the chest, okay? So keeping the palms facing forwards, keeping a slight bend in that standing knee. Good. Hopefully you are managing to stay balanced, but if you're struggling, you can hold on and just do one arm with that leg and then switch and do the other side when we get to it. Good, two more on this side. So make sure we're opening up that chest. Good, well done. Give your body a shake. And then over to this side, bend around to your beams. Okay, so we're lifting. Slight bend in that standing knee. Nice open chest, squeezing those shoulder blades together as you lift. And again, you can hold on with this arm if you need to, just do this side. Good. You can alternate legs if you need to, if it's time to get a bit sore. Because that leg you're standing on has done quite a lot of work now. And now it's having to stabilize you while it's all tired. You do really well, just a couple more. Good, well done, and just shake out. Okay, so hopefully feeling mobilized and nice and warm and ready for some beans. Okay, so the exercises I've chosen are ones that are gonna work on, basically can work in this bit here, into the back here and triceps. So all the areas that are generally lengthened when you're sat like this, and we wanna strengthen them, okay? So first thing we're gonna do is arms here. Arms are coming up to chest level like this. We're opening out and then we're turning the palms up. Okay? Turning them facing forwards, in and down. Everybody got that? Are you all right, Kieran? Yep. So I'm going to time you for this one. We're going to do 30 seconds. So arms here, chest height, they come out, turn the palms up, turn the palms to the facing forwards, here and down. Okay, so as you lift, just to chest level, we come out, turn, face forward with the hands, here and then down. Good. 30 seconds goes really quickly. I think we might have to do a little bit longer. You're doing well, keep going. We do another 10 seconds, that'll make it 45. That's it, arms chest level. Out, turn up with the palms, center and back. So just relax. So give your arms a little shake out. So when you do the turn here, you should be feeling it here and that should help with just pulling the shoulders down 
as well. So just one can for the next bit. We're going to come back. We're going to go back round through all of these. So we need one of them for this one. We're going to do a single arm row. So you want your front leg bent, back leg straight. Rest your hand on that front leg like that. Okay. If you want to, you can always put your knee on the chair, hand on the chair. Bring yourself down like this. Okay. A bit on the chair here. Don't actually have a chair in the house. Um. So hand on that front leg, this arm straight, back neutral, so you don't want to be slouching, okay? This arm comes up and down, like that. Okay, so you want to keep the elbow in. We're going to go through another four to five seconds here. So as you pull up, try and open up the chest. You don't want your shoulder to be collapsing in, okay? Push through that front heel, that'll just help to stabilize you a little bit. Breathe out, breathe in, out, in. Hopefully this is feeling all right for you. If you're too much in that bent over position, you can always do a standing, just one arm row, like that as well. So you're lifting, but then coming slightly back as you lift. So you've got another five seconds. Good. So just have a little rest. We're going to stick to this side. We've got another exercise to do on this side. Next, we're going to work into your triceps. So your biceps here generally get quite tight because you like this, tighten a lot. So we want to strengthen that opposite muscle. So we're in the same position. Start in this position from the row, and then you're extending and coming back in. So 45 seconds of this one as well. So if the greens just aren't feeling enough for you, you can go and grab a big bag of flour or something that's heavier, or maybe for next time you can do that. Or whatever that is that you're using. So keeping the elbow in and trying to keep that shoulder really nice and stable so we're not rounding the shoulder. Try and keep this elbow nice and high. Three, two, one, good work, well done. So with that one, no matter what way I use, I always feel it. Hopefully you're feeling it too. So we're gonna come over to the other side. We're gonna do rows. So bend the front knee, back leg straight, hand on the front leg. Make sure your back's neutral, we're not arching or rounding the back. Elbow in and we're pulling like that. Should move my clock so you don't end up doing that for more than 45 seconds. Okay, so you're squeezing the shoulder blade back and down, working into the back, working into the arms, pull, release. Keep driving that front heel in as well. You're doing well, keep going, you've got 10 seconds to go. Five, two, one, well done. So have a little break, have a little shake. That rhymes as well. Okay, I'm going to do triceps on this side now. So back into that same position, hand on the leg, bend forward. So you want to try and bend from your hips here, okay, rather than arching from the back. Okay, so we're here and we're extending. So trying to keep that shoulder away from the ear. Elbow nice and high, breathe out and in, out and in, good. Try to keep that elbow tucked in as well, we don't want it all the way out here. We've got 15 seconds to go, keep going. You're doing well, you should be starting to feel a little bit of a burn now. Five seconds, three, two, one, well done. Stand up, have a little shake out. Hopefully you're all feeling good now. So we're gonna run through this again. A little bit less of a break. And we're gonna do the rows and the triceps without a break, if you can handle it. But if you need a little bit of a break in between, have one, okay? Have a drink if you want a drink. Roll your shoulders back, loosen out if you want to as well.
Who knew you could do so much with beans, eh? So we're going to go back to the front raise, arms up, palm turn or wrist turn, okay? 45 seconds of these. So palms facing, just in front of the hips, up to chest level here, out and turn. Turn forward and down. Chest level out, turn, turn, in and down. Good. So you want to keep the arms about chest level, you don't want to go too high because that will just contribute to this. We don't want that. We want to keep the chest open and you should feel the chest opening nicely as you turn the palms up and feel it a little bit more in the shoulders. Just checking my clock, my clock. Good, so just five more seconds. Heart rate should maybe be going up a little bit now as well. Good, well done. Have a little shake out. Put one of your tins down. So we're going to go back into that row. So the little circuit style is good because it's quick. It means you can get quite a lot done in a short space of time. So front leg bent, hand on that leg, weight in the opposite arm, weight, beans, whatever you're using. Okay, and 45 seconds of pulling and releasing. So you're working into the back, into the biceps. Good, keep going. Pushing that front heel in, remember. So you've got about 20 seconds left and then we're just going to go straight into those tricep extensions. If you need a little break before we do them, have one. You can use that first 15 seconds as a break. Okay, so in five seconds, I don't know about you, but my glutes are aching on this front leg. Been in the arm a bit too though. Okay, so we're going to pull up, break if you need to for the first 15 seconds, extend, and back, extend and back. So that elbow should be nice and high, shoulder away from the ear, chest open, pushing that front heel in, hip bones level, both facing forward. So we don't want to be twisting out here. Good, you're doing well. Give it 30 seconds to go. Maybe that was a little bit longer than 15 seconds. But you can do it. Okay, I'm nearly there, then we get to switch to the other side. Good, five more seconds. And then I'm going to be mean. And if you can, just extend and hold it. Hold it here, full extension. Hold it, hold it. Bang. Four, three, two, one, and relaxing. Well done. Okay. So stand up, shake out, give that standing leg a shake, give the shoulder a roll around, an arm a shake, and I'm going to move on to the other side. You've not got much to do after this, don't worry. Okay, so beans or tin, whatever you're using in the other hand, hand on the knee, bending forward. So start with rows. So we're pulling up. So it's good to keep moving from one to the other because it'll keep your heart rate up. So you're getting a good cardiovascular element in there too, as well as the strengthening. <laughs> and I'll keep bending down, it's just to press my timer because my screen keeps going blank. Technology, eh? That's going to keep that nice and neutral. Pushing that front heel in. Good, 20 seconds to go. And then we're going to go back into the triceps. Straight back into it or rest for the first 15 seconds if you need to. Okay, so in five seconds, we'll go for those triceps. Make sure here that you're bending from the hips. You don't want your back to start going. Okay, so triceps, elbow up, extend. 
extend. Good, keep it going. Got a note there from Zoom on my screen. Okay, so that was 15 seconds. If you're joining in, join in now. Oh, you can just rest for the whole 30 seconds if you want, if you've had enough. That's it, elbow high, chest open, extend. 10 more seconds to go and then you know what's coming, don't you? Not much. Good, okay, so then just extend. Hold in, breathing. Chest open, shoulder away from the ear. Five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And stand up, well done, good work. So just have a little shake out. So those exercises should just help balance out your posture a little bit. The stronger you are in those areas when you sat, you're more likely to be sat like this instead of like this. And um, so we've just got one more, and then we're going to have a good, nice stretch. So just to get into the shoulders a little bit more, elbows here. So you're on 90 degree bend in the elbow, looking it up to here, rotating here, down and in. So if you want to rest out the first lot, do, okay? Have a rest, watch how it's done, get your breath back, give your arms a bit of a break, and then you can join in on the second lot. So elbows to here, so elbows to shoulder height, rotate here, rotate, and come in. So as you come in here and you're rotating, you should feel it here, and that's helping to open out the chest here. And it's a good one for just strengthening those stabilizers in the shoulders, which can get weak, especially if you've got lots and lots of strain on them, holding them in just one position. Good, just 10 more seconds. You rest in this one out. I hope you're having a nice rest. Get another rest in a minute. Good, opening up that chest, squeezing those shoulder blades together, staying nice and stable. One more. Good, okay, relax. So we are just gonna do that one more time and then we're just gonna have a nice stretch and then you can get on with your own. So grab a drink if you want a drink while we're resting. Okay, so I'm hoping you're all feeling good. We're gonna do that one more time. So elbows in, 90 degree bend, okay? We're coming up, we're rotating, down here, and back. So really pinch with the backs of the shoulders. It'll help to open out the chest. Good. And just make sure you're breathing out, in, out, in. The main thing is that you're breathing throughout all of these, so don't worry too much when you're breathing out and in. Good, keep going. We've got about 20 seconds. Really focusing on the backs of the shoulders here and pinching as we rotate, try not to push the chest out. We don't want to be doing that. Pushing something out or actually back or forcing the chest out. Really good. Five seconds, that's probably one more. Good. Well done. So you can put the beans or whatever you're using. You don't want the bias to beans. Okay. Um, put them down and have a little shake out. So hopefully you're feeling good. Don't worry if you're feeling a little bit achy, that's normal as well, especially if this is all new to you. We're just gonna stretch out a little bit now. So bringing your right ear to your right shoulder. If you want to, give your head a pull with your hand. 
So you should feel that nice stretch here. Nice deep breaths. Stretch is always the best part at the end. It's like earning a little treat. I'm easily pleased there. Okay, so now with this arm, just bring it up just as high as you can and then just turn the palm out like that, flexing the wrist. So I'll just increase the stretch that a little bit more. If it feels uncomfortable, bring the arm back down. It's nice and quiet, it's so relaxing. Okay, and then just relax, bring the arm down. So feel the difference between that side and the other, then over to the other side. So ear towards the shoulder. If you want to, you don't have to, give your head a pull. Feel the stretch here. Hold it there. So again, if you want to bring this arm up, just as high as feels comfortable, flexing there. And just hold it. Enjoy the peace and quiet. And just relax the arm down, relax the head. So hopefully your head's feeling nice now. So then we're going to bring the arms out as far back as you can. Squeezing the shoulder blades together. And holding it there. So hopefully this will have recorded so you can all have a copy to do as and when. So it'll probably be good to do it maybe a few times a week if you can, just to get things moving and get a little break from being hunched over your desk. So then just turn the thumbs down, bring the arms out a little bit further back. Good, keep your shoulders are roll round, hands together. And just stretching up, but keeping the shoulders relaxed down. Nice deep breaths as you stretch here. Good, and then arms come down. So to watch your double breaths in the chin on the chest, just pull the arm away from you. Just round and lift back gently. And just relax the arms down. One hand in between the shoulder blades like that. And then the other hand here, just pressing gently like that. Or you can just press here. Stretch it into the back of the arm. Good. And then switching over to the side. Hand in between the shoulder blades like that. Use the press in here, just gently, or here. Holding it there. Good, and release. Give the shoulders another little roll around. Give your wrists a roll around as well. And the other way, just getting moving. Circling the elbows, from the elbows in and out. And then just a couple of reaches to one side, just to stretch out the obliques and back a little bit. The side. Good. And then just to take a deep breath in and out, relaxing your body. And again, one more time, hands together, deep breath in and out and you're done so well done everybody thank you for joining hopefully that was helpful um if anybody has any feedback or anything then please um feel free to use the chat or the team's meeting